everybody this is a video for call of duty aka warzone 3 aka modern warfare 3 it can work for both modes um if you own the new modern warfare 3 or the battle aka warzone 3 you'll be good to go i'm going to show you the quick settings these are some of the primary ones but there's a bunch throughout this video and it's going to be pretty long so I don't think I'm going to go too crazy with it, but I'm going to explain a lot of the key things right here to start off with. And there's so much more to get into, but we're going to try to make this rapid fire as possible. All right. So these are the ones I favorited. They don't let me favorite a lot of them. So I only put a couple uh, auto sprint. You want it off. The reason you want that off is because you have tactical sprint behavior. When you one tap your, your move, you will automatically start tactical sprinting. And that's important, more important than the regular sprint. Okay. But that's how I have that set up. And then you have the actual slide for slide only slide behavior. And the reason for this is because you still can do some tricks and do some good stuff, but you want it to activate for the slide because you're going to be doing a lot of that throughout the game. You're not going to do tutorials on that. We already have them. So go check that out. Then you have the armor plate behavior. You want to put them all on. You can cancel this at any time by hitting triangle, AKA switch your weapon uh y on xbox triangle on playstation and pc i'm not even sure what that um as far as the dead zones we're going to get into it deeper but you want it as low as possible on on the minimums and then maximum we'll talk about in detail in just a little bit this is very important we're going to get into it because it is something you have to think about the aim assist type uh there's two different versions more or less there's black ops and default they go together it's basically for movement players and things like that. And then the precision and focus is for more stationary guys who use a lot of scopes, hard scoping, things of that nature. So, so most players at default or black ops feel really good. And we'll get into aim assist and, and the other videos that I already have on the channel. Prioritizing interacting. This is for like reloading and, and different things. All you gotta do is just tap the button and you're gonna reload fast. Just tap it a couple times and you're good. Sensitivity, I have it at 6.6 six because it is a smooth flowing experience. It's not too fast, not too slow. It's like just right. All right, and then area of effect, I have it as close as possible. This basically puts the mini map deeper in close to your crosshair, which allows you to uh, see the mini map quicker without having to go all the way to the top of your screen every single time. And I had my camera off on this whole video. Wow. Thanks. And then uh, audio, there's a bunch of stuff in there that I'll get into in a minute. Then this is an important one. Center dot scale. Okay. This, you want to have it high, but it's not just the scale. You want to have this setting in there as important as possible. We're not going to go down the rabbit hole through all of these settings. We'll be here all night if we did but dead zone for example low on the minimum that means how long does it take for you to flick it for it to work for both of these you're going to have it as low as possible zero if possible but uh putting it up a little bit helps not have drift and not have you know little minor issues then you have the maximum i have this at 85 you can put it down to 60 to between 60 to 85 and this means that when you fully hit it will it go to the maximum speed yes okay and then this you want this at a 99 to a, or to 100 this is for your right stick you want to be able to you know flick left to right and do all that good stuff these you want them at zero of course for your controllers the moment you shoot it'll be all good to go then i told you six six and of course for my sensitivities uh, uh as far as vertical and horizontal then i have the ads at an 90 and that is really good stuff we're not going to get into any of those you want to drop down to the curve and the dynamic curve i told you guys dynamic you leave it on here it is a little more snappy linear is the traditional for people who just want it to be one speed and all of that good stuff you want this on instant it is important there's certain things like that that are help now this aim assist for the controller players I told you about this and there's a video that I broke down on aiming that can help you with all of that good stuff. As far as gameplay goes, we talked about the tactical sprint, so we're not going to get back into those, but you could just basically copy all of this. It's going to just help your movement be a lot smoother. It'll take a little day to get used to some of it. For example, climbing is going to be a little personal as far as you have to actually activate your, 
your your changes yourself and we're recording this video right now live on a stream so if you want to be on the stream and get this ahead of time before i upload it go right ahead and so we're trying to speed through to, to break things down but right here for example exiting you want to mount instantly so you want to put that on instant now I've talked about prioritize interactive that is very critical all plates that's another one that's very critical um trying to speed through this because some of this stuff is unnecessary you can pause this and take a quick look on your own as you go graphics i turn off all of this right here reasoning is because it takes more more bandwidth for you to have all the textures and all the stuff that's downloading in the background of the game same thing with the blurs off 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 you want even the depth of field off as well very critical simple stuff um to to help you improve you want this at 120 i have it at 110 because of reasons and now you want wide and the reason for this is for your weapon this right here guys this affects how you shoot okay the wide makes your shots a lot cleaner for your your recoil it's just a very easy method to improve your recoil i don't really worry about this because third person i don't play third person as far as this, this is another critical thing people don't even pay attention to. First person camera movement. The lower you have this, the better you are with your movement. I personally also have the flash inverted so it doesn't really blur me with brightness and it's just a little darkness on there. I talked about the safe zone. We're not gonna talk about that. This, guess what? This sounds crazy. I'm using a headset. And the reason why I have it on home theaters because a professional sound person who plays Call of Duty also broke this down and took the science behind this, which is very important. Not everybody has surround sound. I'm on the PlayStation 5, so it's very important to have it on surround sound because it doesn't matter which one you pick, the footsteps are the same. I know you might not think so, but they did test on this thoroughly. And, and to break that down, I'm gonna also help you here lowering the master volume helps it from being muffled you ever had something be too loud and it sounds muffled well do that for your game you're gonna feel it a little better like wow this is nice turning off all the music lowering the dialogue volume to 40 the reason for this this is just the background noise oh round three is ending and then all of those uh type of elements you want to have that there and then effect, uh, effects all the way up. This is the number one thing to hear footsteps. The number one thing to hear all action in the game is top tier. Again, voice chat, pretty low. As low as you can have it. You don't really want to have conversations louder than the actual footsteps or any of that. Music, and as I said, all this stuff off. Okay? One thing that people do turn off is these two right here because you don't want to have to hear enemies. I like having it on. It's just a fun feature, personally, and that's no, that's your choice, okay? And then after that, uh, turning off all uh, subtitles strictly because it's distracting. All right, you don't need that in your life. I turn auto mono off as well, okay? And then reduced. The, I used to have this on until I saw the 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 buddy who did an article. This is like you know the geeks did an article breaking this down i don't have the link to that so i can't show you and he said this off helps with the footsteps and general sound overall and then from there that's pretty much it there was a pro player who was won championships told me to turn off hit marker sound effects because he wants to be able to hear other stuff in the game and i don't know i'm gonna say personally i just like it on it just sounds cool when i hit somebody but if you turn it off, it will probably let you hear his their teammates that are close by. And I might play my next game with it off. Let's do that. I'm going to do it right now. All right. Listen to world champion Call of Duty players and, and believe in them because they know more than me. All right. So don't listen to me. So there we go. So that's the general breakdown on most of the stuff. I do have some color customizations. This is a little bit personal preference. I personally hate games that do too much. All right. And this game does too much. Okay. It makes it so that every teammate has a different color. It makes it so that like there's thousand colors and you got to keep track. And then in one game, the player is is purple. And then in the next game, he's green. And the next play, he's 
So every time you're playing with a friend, but you don't know which color he is on the map and it's kind of confusing. So what I'm doing, I'm going to keep tweaking this in the future because I have more ideas of what I want to do. As you can see, I am light blue. My teammates are a little darker blue. And then the party is purple. So I know that's like my best friend, my cousin and all of that. The enemies are green. Why do I do this? Green is the most brightest color in here outside of yellow. I didn't want to put yellow, but I have uh green because it is easy to track compared to the rest so this really stands out now this is going to be confusing when you first try to do this and you alter all this you're going to be very confused and like i said these are your teammate colors look at this imagine trying to keep track every match they your best friend changes from orange to blue so this is where i'm going to change this later on i can't tell you what i'm going to do yet but I'm probably going to make all the teammates similar colors, like, you know, like light blue, dark blue, and try to keep them in the same range of colors. You know what I mean? Like all within this range right here of blues and just make them all blue as teammates. And that's it. That would be more or less what I want to do, because it's annoying to have to switch. That's just my personal pet peeve. It's not a big deal. Filters. This is important. OK, don't sleep on this. OK, this is more for how your world pops how everything looks and things like that filter two is the best uh both filter targets you want it on both you can have it on world and interface or you can have it on both i have it on both and then you have 100 percent on that and then you're good to go when it comes to all of that personally this is personal preference but the square gives you more of the map why wouldn't you want more of the map and then crosshair this is a big one guys you want crosshair center dot on and if you can make it a little large i don't have it on the largest i feel like i'm better off with large and that is the general breakdown with this is critical this is going to make you hit more shots i promise you it will because now you know where your center is at all times you shouldn't be looking down at loot when you're trying to go up some stairs you want to be aiming at the enemies as you go up keep that center up it's going to show you on the screen all right, then that's pretty much it. Hit marker visi visi visuals right here. You keep that all on. There's not much in here that's dramatic. This is all like background noise. That is pretty much it for the video. This is a long video, but I'm breaking down everything as quickly as possible. If you want, just take a screenshot of each of the settings. I'll go through them for one more time. But the point of what I want to explain as I break this all the way down is that you need to tweak some of these things when it comes to certain things that aren't guaranteed the, the six is something that a pro player told me 10 years ago and he's like you know a little bit above average is the right threshold for most players because they can't handle high speeds and then they can't handle too slow is only for players that are campy and standing still and if you have a slow reticle it's good if you're good at making sure you're watching who's coming at you but for somebody who needs to turn around, faster speed is important. But if you go too fast, you're not going to hit your shots. So there's a medium in there. And I went with the medium as a, as to, to, for the general public and for everybody that's watching this on YouTube. But guess what? This is a live recording. You can come to my live streams and watch this all break down for you guys um, going forward. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Catch y'all on the next video. Should be popping up on the screen right now.